Mm. Mm. I'm live, baby. I'm live. My studio's looking a little busted. There's a random chair right, right there. It's a random chair right there. Um, some other shit. Uh, there's a painting of some penguins. I think that's next. Uh, I'll release that one next. What's up, y'all? How's everybody doing, man? Hey. Um. Damn, I'm missing a lot. Okay, we got 595 motherfuckers that's sitting here watching me. Oh, you want to know some Ren news? This is crazy that I'm just... In, the, the fucked up thing is I'm not on a label. It's my own label, and uh, it's just me. And so when y'all... When you ask me questions and I'm just, like, in the mood to answer them, I could just make announcements, and no one's going to tell me no. Um, I just heard Ren's verse. He sent it back to uh, an incredible song of mine. And uh, that motherfucker, he goes, hey, man, just... And it's... It's titled Ren Ideas. Just a couple ideas, man. Just I'm working through some things. Let me know if I should. Uh, he's so polite. Let me know if I should, um, you know, rework some shit or start again. Let me know. And I'm like, ideas? So I press play and I'm listening. And this motherfucker's going off. Going the fuck off on me. Trying to murder my shit. It's an emo track. And it's a thoughtful track. And so I made it before I knew it was going to be random. I'm like, I wrote what the track needed for me. And it's an emo, like low key things. There's a little bit of rap and anger in it or whatever. And Ren, where you at, Ren? Comes from my head. He's just snapping. He's rapping his motherfucking ass off. And he's just saying, oh, this is just a couple ideas. And he's got the, he's got the back background dubs. He's got the, the, the vocals just fucking harmonized he's i'm like this ain't this ain't a couple of fucking ideas i hit him back i'm like you little motherfucker man so uh needless to say the song is good as hell and um actually he's still working on it a little bit he still wants to change some shit um but it's you know he's supposed to give me the um the, a couple last changes and i think we can you know what i'm saying get to uh finishing it within the within the month and maybe release it in the next couple next few months would be the shit so, um, it was a song I was actually meant it for someone else. Um, and let me, another thing I'm going to, I'm going to try and hold some details to the chest. I ain't trying to get weird here. I've shopped new songs behind the scenes. I've got like 30 or 40 tracks here. So just don't trip. You're going to get some new music coming. And, um, and I've shopped some really big hits two of the world's largest artists and 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 yeah maybe i'll just shut up <laughs> but so, but in one particular situation go, oh yeah i fuck with it i'm in i'm in but you know what uh this makes me really appreciate being on my own fucking label be doing my own shit whenever the fuck i want if i want to do something i do i do it I've heard backs with some big artists. Oh, I'm in. I like this shit. Now I just got to run it by my label. Then the label needs to run it by some fucking lawyers to know, oh, let me see the song. And then everyone's thinking, oh, is this the right song for you? Da, da, da. The artist wants to do this shit. That fucking drives me crazy. Oh, but my label, I don't know. I just, I, I got to have permission from my label. Jesus Christ. You, you, you're a fucking, man, that just, I would hate to be in that situation. I would hate to be in that situation. So I'm, I'm very glad I'm not. Sick boy, sick boy. 